Hello dear students, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gizla. In this video, we shall take up a question where interest is compounded both half yearly and quarterly and we have to find which option is better. We shall use unitary method to solve this question as we are yet to start the formula methods. Unitary method I have explained in the conceptual video. I have provided the link of the same in the description box which you can check out. Now let's start with the question. Find the difference between the compound interest on rupees 25,000 at 16% per annum for 6 months compounded half yearly and quarterly respectively. Which option is better? Now this is the question. Principal over here is rupees 25,000. Rate of interest is 16% per annum. Time period is 6 months and interest is compounded both half yearly as well as quarterly and we have to find out which option is better. So let's start with the question. First of all, we will take up the first question uh, option that is uh, the interest is compounded half yearly. So rate of interest is given 16% per annum. So for half year, it will be 16 by 2 that is 8% per half year. Time period is given 6 months. So that means one half year. We can say from January to June is one half year that is 6 months. Now, principal for the first half year is rupees 25,000. Interest for the first half year shall be calculated at the rate of 8% on principal that is 25,000. We shall apply the formula of simple interest for first half year that is PRT upon 100 which is equal to 25,000 into 8 into 1 upon 100 which is equal to rupees 2000. 25,000 is our principal, 8% is our rate of interest and one half year we are calculating it for so uh, we will write 1 over here time as a time period and we got rupees 2000 as the interest for the first half year now to find the amount at the end of first half year we shall add the interest for the first half year to the principal of the first half year and we shall get the amount that is 25000 plus 2000 we shall get rupees 27000 as the amount at the end of first half year now after getting amount for 6 months that is rupees 27000 we shall find the compound interest. Now compound interest is the difference between final amount and initial principal. So we shall subtract 25,000 from 27,000 and we shall get 2,000 as the compound interest. So in the first option when the interest is compounded half yearly we are getting the compound interest rupees 2,000. Now let us move to second option that is when the interest is compounded quarterly. Now rate of interest is given 16% per annum. And we know in a year there are 4 quarters. So 16% will be divided by 4 and we shall get 4% for each quarter. Now time period is given 6 months. That means we will have 2 quarters of 3 months each. Now in the first quarter the principal will be 25,000 rupees. And interest for the first quarter shall be calculated at the rate of 4% on this principal that is 25,000. And we shall use the formula of simple interest for one quarter. So PRT upon 100 is equal to 25,000 into 4 into 1 upon 100 is equal to rupees 1000. Now amount at the end of first quarter is the sum of the principal of the first quarter and the interest of the first quarter. So we shall add the interest and the principal that is 25,000 plus 1000 and we shall get rupees 26,000 as the amount at the end of first quarter which will become the principal of the second quarter. So in the second quarter we can say the principal is rupees 26,000. Interest will be calculated at the rate of 4% on 26,000. We shall apply the formula of simple interest for this quarter. Uh, PRT upon 100 is equal to 26,000 into 4 into 1 upon 100 which is equal to rupees 1,040. Now amount at the end of second quarter will be the sum of the principal of the second quarter and the interest of the second quarter that is 26,000 plus 1,040 is equal to 27,040 rupees is the amount at the end of second quarter. Now after calculating the amount for six months or you can say two quarters that is rupees 27,040 we shall find the compound interest. Now compound interest is the difference between final amount and initial principal. 
so we shall subtract 25,000 from 27,040 and we shall get 2,040 uh, as the compound interest in the second option that is when the interest was compounded quarterly and if you remember compound interest in the first option was 2000 rupees now difference between the two is coming rupees 40 so we can say second option is better that means when you compound interest quarterly you will get more interest than when the interest is compounded half yearly so hope you have understood this question and the various steps which are involved in finding the compound interest please do like and subscribe my channel thank you everyone have a good day